Oh, I got you that time. busting my butt trying to move up as quick as I can um, loving my new job loving it so far it's been really cool but uh but yeah I've ha haven't had a lot of time to do any fishing and what fishing I have done it's been so short and so not productive that I haven't even bothered doing anything with it so uh, anyway today we've got a little bit of time we are heading down to Broadway Lake. That's right. I'm actually going to be fishing at Broadway Lake. Um, I'm pretty sure that it looks like poo, like all the other waters around here because of all the rain. But I'll be uh, doing some catfishing since we're not really going to be relying on sight of the fish. We're going to try and rely on smell. So. I'm going to put some nasty stink bait out in the water. I've got some kind of weird catfish kit that my wife got for me at like a thrift store or something like that. I don't know. It's probably going to suck, but we'll try it. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to have some catfish poles out in the water, and I'll probably be throwing around a uh, crankbait or a chatterbait or something just to have something to do. Hopefully it won't be too crowded down here. It's kind of a gloomy day. We've had a little bit of rain. Anyway, we're going to get down here and see what the conditions look like. See if we can find a spot to set up. I will catch you ninjas at the water. Whoop, whoop. I guess let's do this. As I suspected. Water is muddy as hell. Nasty. Well, let's see exactly what it is my wife bought at the thrift store. A $5 variety pack catfishing kit. It's got king cat chicken blood, whopper shad, Oh, so they're like little bait balls. Let's see what all is in this stupid thing. All right. Hog wild catfish dip bait. That probably does not smell good. Not for human consumption. Or so it says. see this is the chicken blood you know we might actually 
try one of these snailed hooks. Put it on there. That should be good. Let's try some chicken blood. Yep, that smells like dead chicken. I ain't never used this crap before. I guess I just mush it on there. I do. I do indeed. I just mush it on there. How nasty is that? It just ensures that you're gonna get this sh all over your finger. Look at that. I got doo doo on my fingers. Seriously, just looks like I'm fishing with a turd. Catfish turd. How about let's dip it in some of this stuff, maybe? I mean, if we're gonna test out the pack, we might as well test out all of it, right? Oh, that straight up smells like dog shit. It really does. Now you're just supposed to like dip it in there and like, okay. So it like smears. Oh no, it's taking my shit off. That's not cool. Now I'm sticking my hands in like two different types of shit. Oh man, that's disgusting. All right, um, I think that's enough shit on one hook. First bait. That's good enough. I'll let that get a good sink. Smell like dead chicken. Alright. Give this a chuck out there. I think the wind is going to be a today. I guess I could throw something else around and have some fun. Alright. I guess it's chatterbait time. Should use a little bit more of an obnoxious color, but I added some chartreuse uh, dipping glue. So let's toss him around. <coughs> Where's my whorehound? You've got a cough or the coronavirus like I do whorehound that's how you do it <coughs> I guess let's put some more doo-doo on our hook god that's so disgusting Look, I don't care what you say, it's a turd. Like this is, they took a fox and they fed it a bunch of chickens and then they waited around for it to take a big dump and then they collected it and then they put a freaking, they chop it up into little cubes, slap on some preservative I guess and then they sell it to fishermen. Look, like, what is that? What is that inside? See what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm handling poop.
Let's see what obnoxious bait I want to throw on. The first thing that catches my eye is this Guggen bait, jerk bait. So that's what we're going to try. There we go. I am prepared to be let down. Do I still got him? I do. Oh no. You. That was a nice bass. How did he come off of these? Damn, he about jerked it right out of my hands, guys. Well. I definitely had him hooked. But it was not good. I felt him hit it. got hammered oh I got you that time flipping oh he is so much smaller He is so much smaller than that first one. God almighty. All right, I'm gonna need my pliers. <coughs> freaking, freaking Guggen squad jerk bait. Yeah, nice fish. Let's get him back. All right, let's change out my battery. All right, guys. Well, needless to say, I got to take back what I said about the uh, this snooty, bougie, but well-made piece of equipment here. The Guggen Squad jerk bait actually produced. That second bite, that uh, he was he was a bit tiny. He wasn't the biggest fish, but he was a fish, and right now any fish is a great fish. So, but yeah, that first bite, man, he clobbered it. The second one just kind of took it, and you know just barely. But that first one just clobbered it. About took it out of my hands. He was a good sized fish. We felt like one. Anyway, let's see if we can catch another. There's another little half a pound. There we go. Oh. 
Y'all want this one? <coughs> oh. All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah, we had some folks stop by. It was like a, a dad and his two sons out here to do a little bit of fishing, which is always good. But uh, yeah, they stopped by and they, uh, they were apparently out here to catch fish to eat and apparently largemouth was on that list. I told them I, I usually throw all my bass back um, catfish and crappy, you know, they're plentiful. I mean, so is the bass here, really. But this pond gets stocked and everything, so I decided, you know, I'd give them my fish. They were out here to catch stuff to cook, but I think within a few minutes they decided that it was going to be uh, more trouble than it was worth to clean them. Because, like I said, they weren't very big. So, uh, they ended up letting them go anyway. Which I was happy with that. I just... I, I don't like keeping bass. I don't like eating bass. For one, I don't think they're very good. Compared to crappy and catfish. There's so many other fish out there that's so much better to eat. But, too much of a game fish. People like to fish for them, so... I like to throw them back so other people can have a chance to catch them again. That's just me. But yeah, they didn't have any luck. They were fishing with uh, minnows. And they didn't have a single bite. And thus far today, the only thing that I've gotten is two bass. Missed one really good one. All on the Guggen Squad jerkbait. I was not expecting that. As much as I hate on the Googans, uh, the jerkbait worked pretty well, and a lot of other people swear by their their lures and stuff, so got to at least give them a chance. And they caught me a few fish, and I'm happy to have them, so it doesn't look like the catfish are going to do anything right now. Been out here for three hours, maybe, maybe longer. Not even a single nibble on any of my catfish poles. So I'm gonna sit here for maybe another 10 minutes and just chill. But if nothing, I'm just gonna pack it up and head to the house. Alright, guys, so yeah. We got a few bass today nothing big but I can't tell you guys how stoked I am just to catch even the small ones it's been a whole it's been a terrible grind this entire winter it's been driving me crazy not even able to catch the smallest of fish lately it's been terrible and y'all can tell by the water clarity that it's just been non-stop rain but Three bass, a few bass is good for me. That's uh, more than I expected coming out here to Broadway. I don't usually have a lot of luck at Broadway. I see plenty of people catching bass out of here, different spots, probably at some of these uh, rich um, properties with the big docks and pilings and all kinds of different stuff to fish right out of your backyard but that ain't how I roll I ain't got a lot of money I ain't got no private dock I have to come out here to this public park public fishing and swimming area so a couple little largemouth bass in these conditions at this place it's not bad a lot more than I expected. I was really hoping to get a catfish, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Now the bite might pick up once it starts getting dark, or maybe an hour or so into dark. That's usually the way it works. 
but I do not have a light that's going to be good enough for you guys to see, so I'm not going to be able to record in the dark yet. Maybe one day, but right now, the catfishing was a no-go today, but either way, I'm happy, and the Guggen bait, the Guggen squad jerk bait, whatever, that, that impressed me today. As much as I uh, don't like their videos as much, um, got to give credit where credit's due. They made a, a really solid product. The jerk bait, at least, so far, has performed great. It produced, and you can't argue with that. It's a really good suspending jerk bait. It dives to a pretty good depth, pretty quick, and really really good to control and as far as deflecting off of all of this rip wrap and tree limbs and stuff it has not got hung up once not a single time through the blade bait got hung up through a crank bait or two got hung up and I even tried other jerk baits to give them a chance but it was only the the Guggen bait that got the bites so I guess I'll have to take that back. Googans, you made a pretty good jerk bait. To catch it in these conditions and this crappy public place. Like this place is very pressured. It gets fished a lot. But anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and reel the poles up, head on to the house. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, Hit that like button for me. Go down, hit subscribe. Hit the bell, and it'll let you know when we put out a new video. You won't have to miss any of the awesome, awesome footage that I've got. It's not that awesome, you know. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And I am going to, uh, I'm going to reel in the poles and head on to the house. Stay tuned for the next episode where we will be doing our uh, third uh, giveaway mystery tackle box foul mouth fishing giveaway we're going to be doing our third and final uh, product unboxing overall look review whatever you want to call it we're going to be doing the final one for that giveaway then after that I guess I'm going to have to get creative and do more of this right anyway peace out ninjas